Hello YouTube, this is Captain85Kurt. I'm doing another game review. Today we have Rock and Roll Racing on the Super Famicom. Now, I'm actually going to be hooking it up to my Super Nintendo, but I have modded, so. Alright guys, enjoy. Now, uh, Rock and Roll Racing was a classic for the Super Nintendo uh, for racing. Kind of like RC Pro Am is for the Nintendo NES. This game is real hard to find, um, so I had to get it on the Super Famicom. We'll just do a new game, Player One. We'll just do Rookie. Um, I'm actually more of an actual expert on this game, even though it's been a while playing. We'll use uh, Snake Sanders. Now you get to choose your vehicle. Um, I can only afford this one right here, so we'll do blue, and then we'll buy. So you buy your vehicle, you get to choose. You can't get that one on the far left; it's too expensive. Now you can actually buy equipment. I only have two grand left, so let's see what we got. Uh, Twenty-four, thirty, twenty-six. 40. Okay, nothing I can get. Let's go ahead and start race. Okay, not doing too well right now. Oops. Anyways, we're getting ahead now. You can get health ups that fix you if you get blown with a missile. Every time you win a race, you get $10,000. And you can collect the little yellow boxes here for extra money. The key is to turn a little bit sooner so you can kind of drift into the turn. Let's just keep doing this, we'll get real going. And one of the best things about this game is the soundtrack. The soundtrack is just amazing. A lot of kids would just buy this like, game for just the music itself. Now you can drop uh, little spikes that slow down people, and you have a missile, and you shoot right there. Now on uh, some tracks, you gotta watch out how you jump, cause you can jump off the track and die. Oh, I hit my own spikes, there we go. So we got 10,000. Let's see here, we'll do another race. I'm not gonna buy anything yet. I'll show you all that after this next race right here. Let the carnage begin! Make things in the left! Rip is dominating the race! Rip is about to blow! Oh, got some money, got a life up. Got another life up in money. Oh. oh, there's some money right there. I'll have to remember to get that next time. Get a few more spikes. Slow down some people. Oh! Oh! Oh, I got it! Yay! I'm so far ahead, it doesn't matter. Let me know what you guys think about this game. Uh, if you've played it, 
what you thought about it. If you have it. Now, uh, you can advance to new worlds, and there's new uh, opponents, and missiles, and cars, and tracks. It's just an awesome game. Alright, let's check out the shop. I have about $22,000. Now, you can uh, upgrade your uh, your actual engine. Right there is $40,000. Um, you can upgrade basically your, your, your shell. That's $24,000. Uh, your tires, you know, for you know, going against oil slips, ice slicks, spikes, whatever. Then here you got uh, pulse rounds, so your missiles, um, your springs, so when you're hopping and you're hitting those bumps, you can keep going a little bit better. And then you got your jumps, and then you have uh, some just slip sauce. That's really not my favorite. So, anyways, we'll buy a missile. I got 13 grand left. So let's exit. It's nice to get the missiles, they do take a good chunk, but you can keep uh, getting your opponent, especially when it gets to the later worlds that they kick your butt. Oh, so let's see here, boom, oh, missed. So you got that guy. Anyways, you got a life there, oh. This was a little bit harder. So you gotta watch out and make sure you don't jump into that. Oh! Oh, Bruma! Love that guy. See, he comes in handy when you have those missiles. Oh, got that other money. Good. This game is just so awesome. I mean, it's so addicting. Um, when you beat the game on rookie, it says, uh, you know, good job, but, you know, basically you're, you did on the easy level, so try a little bit harder. Usually Viper gets about second place every time or first, so if you don't get first, he usually gets first. Like I said, this game is freaking awesome. If you don't own it, or if you haven't played this for the Super Nintendo, then I don't know where you've been. Oh man. Now I'm doing this review because uh I want to bring back some uh, some memories. So I know uh, y'all see a lot of the same game reviews, games that we've all seen before, but let's bring back some games that uh, are kind of rare. Some games that you may have played when you're younger, but you know you haven't seen forever. So that's most of what I'll be doing reviews over. A lot of the games that uh, are kind of rare and scarce. But it uh, looks like I'm about to win this. Got my last lap. I got about uh, 40 seconds left in this uh, video. So that'd be a good way to end it. I said even when you lay your own spikes down, it kind of hurts you sometimes. I just see I'm so far ahead, I should probably try this a little bit harder. But when you're playing the harder level, man, the first thing they do is they blow you up. So, uh, alright guys. Oh, Viper got third this time. So, uh, thanks for watching my videos, subscribe, let me know what you think, and uh, let me know what 
games you want me to do for the Sega Genesis or really anything. So uh, that's it.